taking off. Uh, this is here, right? Yeah. So all the way down. Yeah. Ready to rock. And you have half flaps right now. Do you want them on or off? Uh, have them on for now. I'll okay. take off with it. Okay. Because. Uh, all right, folks. Today is another FPV adventure here. We're at OCMA. We have uh, our friend Robert, who is an expert in FPV airplanes. We're really excited for him to try our new gimbal. Oh, nice. Yep. <laughs> you can see, see, you can see the tail. All right, I yep. can see the fan turning. Perfect for dog fighting. Yeah. And oh. uh, on this... Oh, actually, you do get to roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I love it, it love it, you love it. it all. Oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're really proud of this gimbal. The HD Explorer is a phenomenal gimbal. Take it off. It's very smooth. You get a 1080 recording. We're at 60 frames per second. And now we're rocking. Okay. Gear up. All right. And is this flaps? Yep. There up. you go, man. Get at it. So, Robert, what are you feeling right now? How, do, how is it? It's interesting because I'm uh, on my gimbal, I can't do the roll. But this, yeah. is, this allows you... Because when you're flying full-scale planes, uh, full-scale pilots, which I have like 200 hours in a Cessna, uh -huh. you tend to move your head. So like in a turn, your head's sort of sail level with the, right. the horizon. Right. So it gives you a very realistic feel. Puts you in the pilot seat, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I also want to give a shout out today to rcbattery.com. They have been providing us all the batteries for all of our adventures. They make a solid pack at a really good price, and we can't thank them enough. Oh, this is a, a real test. I want to do aerobatics with it, see what happens. Knock it out. Oh, nice. Isn't that incredible? Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very smooth. Yeah. We're super proud of this gimbal. I mean, it, it is so durable. On our crawlers, we've had crashes and tumbles, and it's never broken. It's all metal. It's brushless motors, three axis, and it, it is capable of everything. We're really proud of it. A lot of R&D went into this, and we're super excited to have you flying it today. So, Robert, how long have you been doing FPV airplanes? Uh, five years. Five years, okay. So, yeah, it is a little soft in the middle. So, almost a little... Whoa. <laughs> it drops a little bit in the inverted, so... Well, yeah, there's a lot of dihedral in that wing. <laughs> so, what's your favorite type of FPV airplane to fly? Uh, this T20 is actually very good. Right? So, um, I like uh, EDFs. EDFs, they okay. Are, they're actually easier to fly once you get used to the speed. They are more pure. Right. No torque from the prop. Very smooth. Right. Well, I've seen a lot of your videos. You know, you know your formation flying that you guys do is very impressive. Um, this is cool. Yeah. Now yeah. that, yeah, adding that third axis uh, roll in there makes it super realistic. Yeah, yeah. We See if we can it. do a, a loop here. So, like, when you are close to the horizon, it's the uh, gimbal self levels. But, nice. but once you're, like, actually beyond that, it's more obedient to the head tracking movement. Interesting. Let's try a landing. All right. Let me give you some gear. Uh, gear is right here, nope. right? Oh, it's this one. There you go. Okay. Do you want flaps as well? Uh, half. Half flap. You got it, brother. All right. So far, the tracking is excellent. So there's no drift. Still in position. Very good. Excellent. I like your approach. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah, this, uh, the, the way the gimbal is set up, it's a little higher than usual for me. So I have to use like a reference against the horizon okay. for... Uh, exact attitude reference okay so, so for people that are new to fpv what would you recommend for beginners uh let me focus on the landing <laughs> <laughs> oh this it's a little weird yeah, here very nice you're good very nice landing Ooh, I, I wish it was a little softer but <laughs> it's hey, on the ground <laughs> the way i look at it if it comes back in one piece we're in good shape <laughs> all right so yeah, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who's new to FPV? Uh, fly with precision. This is not for a 3D pilot. 
Like if you are pattern pilot, 3D, I mean like uh, head tracking FPV is for you. Okay. Because you naturally would fly more precisely, smoother inputs. Uh, you see all your mistake you make when you're doing aerobatics. Sure. So um, I say use, the biggest advice I would give is like uh, position the camera. Okay. Uh, so that you have top of the instrument panel in view. Uh, a lot of people, they tend to uh, position a little too high because they don't want the nose to be blocking the sure. view. But that's actually a little bit counterproductive. Like right now, what I'm using as reference against the horizon right. is the top of the prop arc. Okay. And so that gives me a reference. When I put that on the horizon, I know this airplane is flying straight and level. Now without that, without that reference, it's very difficult. Nice, <laughs> nice. Another FPV adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Explorer HD. Thank you. Great.